game straight. Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Europe and Versus 3 Divine Wind with your host Shenner currently playing as the Kingdom of Ireland. As you can see in our last episode, we uh, were war at war with Burgundy and all of our wonderful allies joined except the Hansa. The Hansa is too prissy to go to war with Burgundy. Not sure what the what the hang-up is. I thought the hang-up was the Papal States, but it's not. It's Burgundy itself for some reason. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump in game. Yeah, this this war looks like it could go on for a long time, because... Uh, let me speed up time here. Because I plan on killing most of Burgundy's military. I would love them to be weak when we're done with them. And to kill their military, we're going to have to do a bunch of... How do you want to say? Uh, sea attacks. We're going to kill this military. Perhaps with these two armies. We might need to bring a third army up to do that. So we'll see about it. This navy will bring a third army over from Africa. And then will be the time to attack them. So hopefully they'll still be sieging the shit that we took uh, by that time. And this army, we should be taken care of. They only have 1,000 guys left, and that was 33,000 troops. So there's a big chunk of their army dead. The moment they land in Lampung, they're dead. Um, they also have an army in Africa, which we'll deal with eventually. And they also have an army, they have two armies in South America. 31,000 here, and 13,000 here. And it looks like they're about to kill uh, Castile's army. All right, it's only 19,000. Okay, well, we'll deal with them in due time. I am not in a rush to deal with this one because whatever. They'll take them a while to chew through South America. But we'll take care of this army because we have 60,000 units over here. That should be enough. And uh, once these, this one, this one, and this one are gone, uh, they'll probably start recruiting like crazy. Like, they already are recruiting. But they'll probably like double the recruiting because th I'm sure their economy is just going gangbusters. Let me take a quick look at their economy. Yeah, they have the second best economy in the world. Really good economy. Look at that. Just by that one war, we, we cut Austria's economy in half. That's awesome. Anyway, let's unpause and get our dudes back on the boats. Get you guys back to safety where you can heal up and feel good. Alright, so their army in uh, Sumatra is now dead. And you guys, uh, China. China, China, China. I guess that means you are going to come pick them up. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to keep my armies over here. They're not going to go anywhere. Oh, they're making short work of this shit. Well, we'll figure out, how, we'll figure out a way to do this. I mean, I do need to rest up here, because we're only getting 2,000 troops every month. If that. Let me see if that's right, because the end of the month is tomorrow. Do we get 2,000? Yes, we do. Okay, good. So, it'll take a couple months for them to get back up to full health, and it'll also take some time for us to get our navy over from Africa. Here we go. They're here. Go ahead. Well, it looks like our little distraction didn't keep them busy long enough to uh, bring our third army up. But that's okay. Looks like they're going to go fight in Norway over here. That might be a good time to attack them when they are uh, on the offensive, because they probably have a, uh, an attacking penalty of some sort. So, let's see. Let's see if we can get it so we get one more month of healing before we get on the boat. And... Again, hopefully that'll give enough time to get some dudes around. Alright, get on the boat. Alright, we landed in Ilhius. Siege that, please. And Chinese army can go back to China. Actually, you went to Macau, didn't you? Let's go. There you go. Yeah, this is all done over here. We're at 0%. <laughs> <laughs> they don't give a shit about these territories. They're just huge. That's the problem. They are gigantic. Burgundy is huge. That's what it comes down to. Uh, 
let's go sit in RRS or whatever the hell it's called. And you guys just chill? Yeah, you can just relax over there, I guess. Got nothing else for you to do. You guys go back to Bangalore, please. And everything on the uh, Asian front is just hunky-dory. Looks like our ally... <laughs> our ally Tuscany is getting involved. Good for you. Let me give you some access. Oh, you already have access. Uh, well, I guess we're good then. Just good allies, right? Kind of sucks we lost our alliance with Achillea, and they won't accept it now, so we'll just keep giving them money just to keep them happy. But yeah, see, now they're starting to get all their little onesies and twosies together, which is going to be a pain in the butt. Oh, Burgundy has a few thousand down here, and Trier is with them. Ah! That looks like a good army to attack, because Trier is obviously not too strong of a country. Are they a vassal? They are a vassal, so I can't get them out of the war. 4th of November. 1st November. Wait, one more day. There we go. Alright, you guys go here. We'll meet up. We'll meet up, and we'll have a party. It will be amazing. Alright, you guys are all set. You can undock. Good, good, good. This is going to be good timing, I hope. Oh, hello, Burgundy. Yes, yes, yes. You're rampaging through South America like anyone gives a shit. Oh, white piece. I don't think so. How about you take your offers and stick them up your ass? Alright, we're on the boat. They're in Holland. Sweden is coming to invade. Oh, they took Friesland for us. Thank you, Sweden. I think I want to get rid of Trier's little army down here. Where did they go? Oh, they're an Armagnac now. Hmm, that makes it more difficult. I thought I was going to be able to land on them on the coast and just, like, poo on their head. Okay. Grenada, of course. Well, I can't go to war with them. I'd love to vassalize them. These are very profitable lands, you know? Well, okay, the salt and the wine are profitable lands. How about that? The rest of them can go to hell. But I'm not at war with them, and I don't have a causes belly, so not going to happen. So, you guys, 8th of November. Let's see if we can catch them in Zealand. That would be nice. We'll try to catch this army with 40,000 dudes and see if we can't just obliterate them. That would be brilliant. And you guys might have time, if you're quick enough, to join in the fray. That's if you're quick enough. Eighth of November. All right, we're both unloading there. Eighth of November. I'm not sure when we'll get out though. We can't get access because these are a damn vassal. But we'll do our best. Yes, sir. Oh, Burgundy's got a. Wow, they got 20 transports out here. Ooh. I wonder where they're going. Well, no matter. Alright, let's go dick around with Burgundy. Going to Land's End. Well, we can go to Land's End too. Oh, Burgundy went around us. Oh, holy shit, they went around us. I didn't even notice that they went around us. God damn it. Ugh. How did I not notice them going around us? Seriously. You know what we'll do? See, they're building ships and they're building units. Let's go down and kill their units as they spawn. And you douchebags can stay on the boat. And we'll head down here and get off the boat and do all these again.
So now all the little dudes are spawning, and we're gonna go kick some ass. And it said something about down here? Yes, good, siege that please. You guys are still trying to get there. Please keep sieging. All right. No, no, we're in good shape here. Yes, yes, good shape. Yes, we're fine. We're just gonna keep killing all these little 1,000 dudes that they have. And there are quite a few of them, aren't they? Oh, oh, here's their navy. Hello. Hello. We found your navy. Alright, so let's start the invasion down here and see if we can't catch them. When are going to arrive? 17th of February and 12th of March. Wow, that is a big disparity. We'll have to wait then, won't we? We'll wait 20 days and we'll check again on January 14th or so. Alright, so we killed their entire navy except for their large ships. So the large ships are running away, but that's fine. I don't care. Anyway, back in the land of shit that matters, we're going to be racing around trying to catch armies with one of these guys, and the other guy is going to be a sieging army. Sound good? Good. Yes, yes, new exploits. I don't care. And they're not moving because they know they're fucked. And they're dead. So, you know, just killing 1,000 dudes at a time is fine with me. They're going to Liege. Alright, so let's go to Liege. Let's go this way, though. Alright, we arrived in Land's End. We didn't see their navy, so they probably just avoided us somehow, because they're pro-ninjas, you know? Fucking Burgundian navy. But yeah, here we can get off and just keep on sieging. Wait, where's the army? Oh, they're over here. Derp. Oh, you can get off in Normandy then, I don't care. Alright. So they are... Alright, January has come, we're gonna go this way. You're gonna arrive 12th of March, we're gonna arrive 24th of March. Alright, that'll that'll be fine. Let me give you a leader, though. Another general. Actually, you know what? I'll give it to this guy. And let me see if I can... No, I don't want to swap out anyone. Yes, China, we can swap you out. You're useless over there. But you're going to be useful over here, like that. Pro. See, so yeah, we're going to try to catch people with this guy. He doesn't have much speed, though. This guy's got s four speed. Ooh, he might be a better choice to catch people, then. Then, yeah, I guess we'll keep you in Brabant, and we'll use you to catch people. How's that sound? Sounds good. Get off the boat. And that army's dead. Let's keep on moving. Actually, let's let them land there first. There they go. Oh, they're gonna beat me by two days. Siege that. Keep on moving, please. Yes, yes, keep going there. Uh, don't go there. Oh, 
Oh wow, more level twos. Well, you gotta repair a bit then. Alright, so we chase them off. They're running to Graupara. Killing their little armies again. You guys are running to Graupara. Well, we'll follow and kill them. Just gotta destroy these gigantic armies they have. Maybe we'll siege a little on the way, because why not? Maybe we'll fail at sieging. Four people! Four people, and we failed to get it. Jesus. Alright, we arrived first, so that means they're pretty much boned. There they are. The Hurons are insulting us again. Oh, come on. Can't we all just get along? We're at 87. Holy shit. How we got so low with them? What the hell? The silly thing is, they now have a McMurray Kavanaugh on their throne. He's four years old, but you shouldn't be insulting me, man. We're fucking relatives. They must have a core on my land. It's gotta be it. There it is, Allegheny. Well, it was my choice to release them as vassals. Maybe that was a bad choice, but whatever. We'll deal with it later. Alright, they did not die. They are now running to Maranhau, which is there. So that's fine. We'll just keep chasing them until they're dead. I don't care how long it takes. Kill their damn armies. We're having good success killing these little armies that they keep spitting out. So we'll just keep doing it. Man, we are full of magistrates. Let us find stuff to build. And let me pay these guys a little bit. Oh, I can't. Bosnia wants... How is Bosnia in this war? Sure. Get out of the war, Bosnia. You guys suck. Should not have even been in my war. There, now I'm back up to 173. Are you happy now? Stop insulting us, please. Alright. Let's see if we can actually try this siege here.
So these are the level ones. Gotcha. Well, we've done a decent job killing their little armies, so we'll just keep doing that. Looks like they finished sieging Friesland, so now they're going to the Hansa land. Oh, they won't... Now it says unlikely instead of impossible. Hmm. Wonder what's up with that. We're gonna have to get out of Limburg, I'm sure. So let's go the long way. No, the long way, please. There you go. I'll have to get them on the boat, because they are very weak from sieging. And so are these guys. Jeez. When you fail a siege, you lose so many... Sol I lost 12,000 soldiers here, just because it's a level 3 fort, and that sucks. And we're not going to be able to fight them, so we're just going to have to retreat a little bit. So let's go to Cambrai. Oh, right, those guys. I guess I should deal with them, huh? Look at that. They've actually been wrecking a little havoc down there. Oh, you guys, you do it. Kill them. Alright, we arrived in Moranhau. Good. Should be able to kill this army this time. They have a few thousand left, like 4,000 guys left. Oh, let me spend my... I forgot to spend my churches, please. Churches, please. There we go, yes, yes, churches, yes. Salt crisis. <sighs> hmm. Burgundy got peace with Castile. White peace, really? Burgundy had a lot of this conquered, but now it's white peace. I guess they want to focus on us. That's fine. I'm honored. I am honored, Burgundy. And here's your 3,000 dudes. And they're dead. Please siege that. Finally, their northern South America fleet is dead. So we're going to take Mato Grosso. Actually, we'll take all of them. Just come down here. And we'll deal with that army. Mano a mano. We're up to 37%. Let's see what it'll cost to make them spit out the people we want them to spit out. Like Friesland or Flanders. Oh, they've been get rid of, they've been getting rid of cores. Flanders is supposed to have a lot more than that. Especially Antwerpen. Yeah, Antwerpen only has France. And we can't make them spit out France because there's France. If France didn't exist, then we can make them spit out France. But they do exist, so blah blah blah. Anyway, let's sort it by cost. The biggest one to spit out would be Champagne, which we could do. 63%. What about Alan Khan? Would be all that. Eighty-nine percent for those two. Well, I guess this would be the most valuable one, because they would get two ports. Orleans would get three. Guillen would, do, would be nice. All right, let's keep Guillen in there and keep looking around. Who else could we do? <laughs> Asse, yeah. Don't really care about Asse. I kind of want to split them up on the mainland, you know? Liege. All right, if we did Liege and 
Flanders. That would do a little bit more. And Normandy would get those three. And Barry would get a little bit. Let's get rid of Liege. What's Luxembourg get? Oh, only those. So that and Liege. 94. Yeah, that looks good. Then France would only have a couple ports. Three ports. I mean, not France. Burgundy would only have three ports. That might be good. What would have any on get? Just Dauphine. Lorraine. Yeah. Nevers. Yeah. Bourbonnet. Yeah. Bar. Yeah. Why not? Don't really care. I say Auvergne. Nah, silly. That looks good. So if we get them to like 95 or 90 percent, where they'll, they'll accept anything, then we'll make them spit out Guienne, Normandy, Luxembourg, and Liege. That looks like a good plan. And Flanders looks like a good plan to me. That will diminish them severely. The other option is we can make them get rid of some vassals. Like Trier is a big old vassal. And Holland is a decent sized vassal in Friesland. But I mean, we're already, that's 100% on its own. That would mean they wouldn't spit out anyone. So there's exactly 100% just to release two vassals. I kind of think it's more important to hurt them, not just release vassals. So we'll keep this up. But yeah, we're, we're doing pretty well. We're going to have to retreat for a few turns to heal up. But look at this. I had high end. My assorted vassals have arrived, which is fantastic. And we're almost there, so let's get our boats down here. Right, you guys are all set to get on that boat, and you guys can get on that boat. And we forced their navy out again, and their navy's dead. Alright, so you're going to go dock up in Norfolk. You guys are going to go dock up in Kent. You guys go dock up in Wessex. So now all our vassals are going to lose all their armies and everyone's going to cry. But frankly, I don't care. I'm just going to destroy their armies one at a time. We've destroyed their Asian army. We've destroyed uh, their North South American army. And next we're going to destroy this South American army, and then we're going to have to retake all this. Which won't take too terribly long. I'm not going to bother with retaking this stuff, because our vassals will do it for us. Looks like our vassals took this for us, thank you. And Champa is coming over here, because they're, bo they're boss like that. And we'll keep giving here on some goodies just to keep them happy. I don't know why they're unhappy, but they are. Oh yes, Papal States. You guys need a lot of bonuses. I, if, you have to keep your Papal Relations over 100 if you're Catholic, or else you could potentially be excommunicated. So to avoid getting excommunicated, keep your relations with the Pope above 100. That makes it impossible to get excommunicated. Oh, yes. You guys are already in the war. What about the Hansa? Still very unlikely. Damn it. I don't want to lose my alliance with the Hansa over them not joining a war, so I'm not going to push the issue, but still. Yes, yes. They are rampaging. I get it. See, now would be the ideal time to attack this army, because they're on a coast. So I could drop all my armies on them, but my armies are so weak right now, it's silly. Oh yes, we have uh, colonists, I kind of forgot. Yeah, 
Yes, yes, keep sieging. I could hardly care less about those territories. These guys are going to town, aren't they? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Yes, Norway got Bergenschuss back. Finally, after all these years, they finally got Bergenschuss back. That is amazing. Utterly amazing. Bravo. Let me pause one second here. Coffee just finished brewing. Oh yes. Coffee, 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 coffee. Stuff is delicious. Alright, so where were we? Demrara, Umbrian Patriots. Oh, Papal Patriots. Burgundy will end the vacillation of Cleves. No, I want more than that. I want your liver. I want your kidneys. I want your soul. And yes, if you're dealing with an army that has a strong... I mean, dealing with a country that has a strong army like this. Like, Burgundy's army is level 36. Ours is only level 34. So their army is stronger than ours. They also have a lot of troops, and they're also on their, on their home territory. If you're dealing with this, and they have a coastline, one way to deal with large armies like this is to take over a bunch of coastline like this, and then get your troops nearby, and let them do whatever they need to do to get all the way up to full health, and then have them all land their ships when Bergen, when uh, that country is trying to siege something back from you. And if you do that, then they'll just be sitting there all dumb, and you won't have to chase them around the map because they'll be standing still. You'll still have to chase them to kill them off, but to get the initial engagement, which is the hardest part, they'll be standing still. I think what I will do... Hmm... No, I'll leave that alone. As soon as I destroy all their armies, and I get peace with them, I will fund some patriots over here, and hopefully they'll become parts of my vassal, Malacca, which would be very nice. But I have to destroy all their armies first, and yada yada yada. Oh, hello, Burgundy. So this one's fully healthy. This one hasn't received anyone yet. Still haven't received anyone here. I guess they're all going here. See, I would have thought it would have done all three of these armies at the same time. Like, just giving each, like, 700 or 800 every month. But no, it gave all of them to this one. And now it's giving all of them to this one. And I guess this one's just not important enough or something. Rebels? Oh, Irish Patriots. Fuck yes. They don't look very Irish. They look black, but whatever. I mean, their clothes look very black. Oh, look, we caught up with them in Piranha. That might be not, that might be a bad thing. I'm not sure. Yeah, we're losing a lot of troops. Yeah, that's not good. Alright, so we landed... No, we didn't. Just keep moving. Our main armies are almost here. We're all gonna stop in Uruguay, and then we're gonna we're gonna pinch them. Stay here. We're gonna pinch them in Piranha. That'll be the fun fight of the afternoon. 
Oh, wow, they're recruiting like crazy, aren't they? Jesus. And they moved away. They moved their army. Oh, now they're going back to the coast. I was going to say they moved their army away from the coast, but now they're going back, so it's all good. <laughs> Patriots, who cares? All right, so you're up to 20. You're up to 20. You should be getting troops this next month. Let's watch if they get anything more than zero. Nope. Well, damn it. <laughs> now that's getting frustrating. In any case, we will deal with it in time. Looks like they're going back up here for some reason, probably to Friesland. All right, you have still 8,000. Well, you have to get more than that, my friend. All right, we're back here in South America. You're almost ready. And then we're all three going to have a party in Perona. Like that. And we have a colonist. Will you clowns hurry up? Oh, we made them run to Pompous. We lost a general. That sucks. Alright, so their army's in Kaw. Will you please hurry up and get some fucking troops? I don't know what algorithm they use to replenish troops, but it sucks, because I'm not getting any in this army, and I need them. Oh, that's the problem. Our manpower is at... <laughs> I should have checked. Our manpower is at zero. Wow. Um, that's going to be a problem, because manpower is the only thing that's going to keep me in this war. Hmm. Hadn't even considered that, but yeah, we do need quite a bit of manpower. Okay, so we might have to lower our options for this war. Hey, Flemish Patriots, funded by Russia. We might have to lower our goals for this war to something more manageable. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and try our best to take out this army with 48,000 dudes. No guarantees here. Oh, we have a missionary. Uh, yeah, go here. I don't care. Alright, come on down. We're all going to land here in Kaw. Alright, so there's 20,000 there. Forty thousand there. No, we just need this last one to arrive, and we didn't get an attacking penalty. Freaking awesome! And they only have one thousand cannons. Cavalry, not the best on defense, so I think we've got a distinct advantage here. Cavalry's great for offense, though. All right, get your ass down here. All right, forty-five thousand versus thirty thousand. Come on, baby. There we go. Wow, let's add all this up, huh? We lost 8,000, 9,000 guys. They lost 15,500. They're going to Alencon. All right, we'll follow them and hopefully kill this army. If we kill this army, then we can probably still do all this without any manpower, which sucks, but what can you do? All right, there we go. We caught up with them. And they're dead. So that was their South American army. It's up to 22% now. And we have Irish patriots down here just kicking fucking Burgundian ass. So I guess we can send one army down to... Oh, I need access. Thank you. I need one army to go down here. And the other one can siege... You, you can go home, really, Mato Grosso. Just go home. 
Alright, we arrived first, so we're going to have the defending bonus. That's going to be awesome. There we go. Oh, they only got a minus one, but that's okay. Yep, yep, look at those numbers. Oh my god, we're utterly destroying them. Ah. Uh, no. Atse, whatever. I don't want those Patriots. I want Malakan Patriots, damn it. Alright, so they're down to 6,000 guys. We're doing really well. And they're utterly dead. So that was their main army. That was their main army in the whole world. And they're dead. So this army is mostly... This... Uh, this. Well, they still have these. And they still have these. But this was their largest army. It is gone. So now what we need to do is mop up all this stuff. So we're going to go in different directions. We're going to send 6,000 there. 14,000 here. And 16,000 here. And we'll try to do something about these... Excuse me, about these guys, but... Maybe I'll just avoid them and I'll go this way instead. Alright, we have... Level 2 forts. What about churches? Yeah. But we're looking good now. Exceptional year. Gain money... Or gain 7,000 ducats. Wow. Uh, one year of plus 25% tax or 7,000. Yeah, I'll take 7,000 ducats. Thank you. Alright, those guys are dead. Then we can start slowly sieging up here, maybe. Oh, self-sustaining. Oops. Uh, Omaha. Oh, but I don't have any magistrates, so it doesn't matter. I'll deal with you in a minute, Omaha. For now, I'm busy. Busy killing off Burgundy's last few troops. Actually, you have 18,000. Go this way. Alright, so we caught up with an army in Picardy. And we're kicking some serious ass. And they're dead. So let's move on to Artois. We have to wait for the end of the month, I guess. I think I need to get some of this coffee. Mm. Excuse me, one minute. Oh my, that is tasty coffee. Alright, so siege that please, and siege that please. And we caught up with their army, cool. Their army's dead. So we're just gonna siege Lander and slowly. Alright, you guys are done here. Where are the other... And they're already building more troops, look at this. They never stop building troops. And Aragon is going to lose this battle, but thanks for trying, Aragon. I do like you. You are a good vassal. You're not the greatest vassal. Oh, 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 my goodness. I believe since Burgundy got peace with Castile, they can no longer remove their troops, so these troops are essentially dead. Their navy's dead, so these troops cannot maneuver anywhere. That's brilliant. Let's see, they still have 31,000 guys there. You can siege that safely. You're going home already. But yeah. This army is isolated. They cannot do a damn thing. So that's kind of cool. Our fortress under siege by Burgundy and Trier. I've never seen two messages before. I've never seen two names show up. Always just one. Interesting. Alright, so are there any other weak fortresses around here? No, those are the weakest ones. Okay then. I guess we move on to... 
Let's see, this one with the big speed? Yeah, four speed. So what we're going to do is try to mop up all these soldiers that they're recruiting. So 7th of November, 27th of March, July, August, July. July, July, August. So the first one's going to be here in their capital. Artois is complete. So let's move on. What about these troops? 17th of November, 3rd of March of next year, 5th of November. So nothing too soon. So we'll just go down and wait for them to spawn. It's like spawning enemies. It's awesome. Rebel successful. Irish Patriots. That is awesome. So we get rebel sentiment for Irish patriots here. That's hilarious. Oh my, we have war exhaustion. Ouch, 5.67. But at least it's going down, and it's going to keep going down because we don't really have any increasing attrition. We do have attrition, but it's not increasing. Oh my, they have an army that's coming north. So we're going to let that army come north. The other army's going south. We're going to let this army go north, and then we're going to trap it by bringing these two armies behind it. And we're going to kill it. Oh my, it has 20,000 dudes, but they're all horribly, horribly hurt. Oh, they just got replenished a hell of a lot. Let's hurry over there. We're going to have to kill them while they're weak. Before another month passes, hopefully. If that's possible. Let's see, where are they going? Oh, I must catch these guys. It's 20,000 units and they're very weak. Please, please catch them. Yes, they are standing their ground. Yes, 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 fuck yes. Alright, so we have the defensive bonus, they're attacking. 20,000 units, I hope, will die here. Yes! Yes! Another big Burgundian army. Dead! Let's go kill this one down here. Let's go have some fun. That worked out so well. Oh my, am I seeing this right? Are we really this late on time already? Wow. Okay, well, since this war is going to go on for a while, I'm going to have to break it up into three parts. Okay, guys, so I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time where we continue our war with Burgundy.